data access environment is really exciting initiative. So it's going to be an online way for researchers, for anybody else who wants to access our data, to, to get access to it online without that data having to be disseminated outside of NHS Digital. So it's really got two major advantages to my mind. The first one is that it keeps patients' data safe. And the second one is that uh, it reduces the burden on those who want to use the data uh, in terms of all the infrastructure that they need to have available to them. Then it is digital, we collect data from almost every provider of care in, in the country and also uh, from many social care providers. And we can take that data, put it together, analyze it in order that we can learn and improve from every patient who's treated. This helps us to create what we could call a learning health system. We've been doing this for many years, but in the future, the data access environment will allow us to do this more easily, more quickly. It will allow more people to take part in that sort of research and to make those innovative improvements in care. So the data access environment uses cloud technologies um, to allow us to provide a greater amount of functionality and capabilities than we previously had. And it also allows us to scale to the amount of data that the NHS holds. In the past, it's been hard to answer some questions about the data that we hold. So if the data, we're trying to analyze data that's maybe over 26 years, over long periods of time, that was previously very complex to do. Uh, so using this infrastructure that we've built, um, that's now uh, easy. So now we can focus on getting more value out of that data. Some of the queries that you'll be able to perform in this environment previously haven't been possible. There hasn't been the computing power to, to do those types of queries before. So we'll be able to unlock a whole area of research that previously may have been difficult or complex to do. One of the advantages to me of the data access environment is it allows me to run queries that I wouldn't have been able to run before due to the fact that it can scale. So as the queries increase in size or the amount of data that they're processing, the environment will scale with them. It also means that there are libraries that I wouldn't have had access to before, so I can do machine learning, so something like scikit-learn in Python, and allow me to look at more advanced techniques, which I just didn't have access to in the past. You can share code and practices, so it might not be the case that right now everyone's doing the same thing, but if something interesting comes about, you don't then have to go recode the same thing. Okay, it's great to check that, but it also means you can look at what other people have done, share ideas, and then build on what's already been done. Data in healthcare and data specific to Leeds has become so important because it's how we improve what we do, it's how we share and deliver integrated care. Data now in the health system has to be about the patient and around the patient and puts the patient at the centre of what we're doing. And having a data platform where we can put data together and share it is a really big part of where we're trying to get to in all healthcare systems and no more so than in a large acute hospital like Leeds.